get your coffees or your teas or whatever you're sipping right now ready because we're gonna be talking about how to use Adobe Stock Audio in Premiere Pro for your projects. So let's dive in. Audio is arguably one of the most important aspects to filmmaking. Great music and sound design can take a meh video like a meh, you just forget about that one, to a professional video where you're like, what did I just watch? What did I just hear? That's what audio can do. The nice thing about the age that we're living in right now is there's a lot of music available on lots of different stock websites. But the most annoying part to the workflow process is leaving Premiere Pro, going to the website, downloading it, bringing it back in, and then importing it back into Premiere Pro. And then you get it all ready and you play it back and you find out that the song doesn't work. We've all been there. However, with Adobe Stock Audio built directly into Premiere Pro, you never have to leave the program now when you're looking for music for your projects. All right, so let me talk briefly about my process when selecting music. It's very important to figure out what the energy of your video is. Is it sad? Is it slow paced? Is it relaxing? Is it frantic? Is it epic? And once you've figured that out, you can start selecting different songs by their moods or their genres or their instruments and play back those songs over your rough cut to determine if it's the right fit or not. I always like to just trust my gut. If you watch the visuals and you hear the song, you're just like, you'll know. Just listen to your heart, listen to your feeling on it, and you'll just know, hmm, that seems right. All right, so let's talk about how to use Adobe Stock Audio. You can sort by mood, genre, and then narrow down your search with additional filters. There's a drop down for vocals, instrumentals, and then you can go in and actually even select your target tempo and duration. Also, you guys might even recognize some of Adobe's audio partners like Epidemic Sound and Gemendo. All right, here's the secret sauce. Enable Timeline Sync in the bottom left corner to preview your selected audio track with your timeline before downloading it. You press play on the song and then it will play with your timeline. Watch how easy it is to add a song to your project. So go down here and click the three dots. It puts the sample file in your project to keep everything organized. When you're ready to license it, click the shopping cart. You'll be redirected to Adobe Stock and then you can just check out. Now, once your track has been purchased and licensed, the preview audio track will automatically be updated to the licensed version. You'll finally know that it worked because the shopping cart icon will just disappear. So once you choose your music, then build in sound effects and ambience, you're gonna have something that looks and feels like this. If you guys are curious about pricing, about credits or subscriptions, you can go check out stock.adobe.com to find out more. All right, guys, that's the end of this tutorial. And because this is an audio tutorial, let's do an ASMR outro. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future videos. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I wonder if you guys can hear my watch. If that didn't work, we'll just add the sound effects in afterwards with Adobe Stock Audio.